It's that time of year again, folks. The jolly fat guy is coming to empty his sack all over your front room. And in a few days' time, you won't remember what day it is or whether the shops are even open so you can buy more beer and cheese. But there's a bit of magic missing these days, isn't there? Something about Christmas just isn't Christmas anymore. So let's recapture it with this bumper list of 10 80s British Christmas specials you probably forgot about but some of you may not have forgotten about so please don't tell me in the comments that you didn't forget about it number one the homemade christmas video smith and jones 1987 join this comedy duo in an extremely convincing and accurate homemade christmas video showcasing a typical 80s christmas in the uk courtesy of the aldershot family have you got your booze yet or not because i got a well oh, well you should see the liquor department in here yeah yeah, yeah. So, Hello, are you Santa's little helper? Come to help out Santa in his grotto? Yeah, I am. Well, sit down and play the ruddy music then. Incidentally, that hammer holds a special place in my affections since it was a gift from a darling wife the previous Yule Tide. <laughs> What have you done to my door? Hey! That's the one, boy. Beauty. What a whopper, eh? What a whopper. Hey, <laughs> hey, Pete. You're not going to get that down, you local greengrocers, is ya? Hang on, hang on. Here we go. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. It's your honour, Trafalgar Square. Oh, yeah, look. Hey, yeah. Oi. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dad. Here, yeah. here. Yeah. What about Peter? Number two, Cannon and Ball Christmas specials. These lads had a massive run of success, and the clips you're seeing are from the 1985 Christmas special. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Once again! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! We've come on here to do a Christmas show, a good audience. This time, Tommy, you really activate me, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, shut up! Leave me alone, get on with the show. What a day. I went in the girls' dressing room to borrow some shampoo for me, uh... <laughs> Causey dandruff. Right, you want it? Anti dandruff, yes. Mm. Mm. Very well, then. I'll I tell you, that, I thought you were marvellous. Back flipping, forward flipping. Well, you know, I used to be a gymnast. Yes, I know you do. You look like a gymnast. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it, Tom. Mind the chair. <laughs> Mind the coat bucket. <laughs> Mind the paper rack. Cameras. 3,000 people, although they're light, and you're fixing Alsatian with you. <laughs> oh, yes, this is really going to work. Don't worry, Tommy. It'll work. Bear brings this. <laughs> Number three, Blackadder's Christmas Carol, 1988. Ebenezer Blackadder is the polar opposite of Ebenezer Scrooge. That is, until Robbie Coltrane's Ghost of Christmas Past shows him how mean his ancestors were, and Blackadder decides to change his ways for the worse. What would happen in the future if I was bad? Please. All right. <laughs> My Lord Pigmot, I did not vanquish the nibble pibblies because you just made them up. <laughs> Send him to the sprouting chamber. Number four, the two Ronnies Christmas special, 1987. How can you not have the two Ronnies in this list? Back when variety shows were the bee's knees, these two were the buzziest. I mean, busiest. Singing, dancing, comedy sketches and daft, wordy nonsense from the masters of 80s comedy. It's Merry Christmas from him and Merry Christmas from him. Latest statistics show that 90% of all British women like shaking Stevens. <laughs> On the other hand, 90% of all British men think he's old enough to shake himself. <laughs> That's very kind of you. I'll have a pint of... What do you want? A pint of light? No, a pint, pint of brown. brown. What? No, a pint, pint of... Mild. Pint no, a pint of... No, a pint of... 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 Charlie, won't you? Yeah. Hey, stop mucking the bridesmaids about. Get out there. Go and give her a dance. Oh, my friend. Of this I'm certain. Oh, well, it's worked out proper champion, hasn't it, oh, eh? what? And it's not like us, maybe it has, but it's like us, not I. <laughs> hey, what's more, young pigeons, they don't play the pop music all night, do they? No, of course not. No. A little recitation. 
I'll tell you a tale about the old Yukon Trail. It's a life full of strife. You can stuff it. Christmas time is here again. <laughs> Mr. Joe and Holly, I wish you all you wish yourself, and may your day be jolly. <laughs> now, your name is what? Yes, that's right. What? What's my name? Don't you know either? <laughs> yes, what? Arthur what? Oh, I see. Now, he's almost complete. I just have one more hole to drill in the bottom. <laughs> you do, and you got a belt and a kisser. <laughs> <laughs> a Merry Christmas from me. And a Happy New Year from him. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Number five, Russ Abbott, a giant of 80s comedy with slapstick, silly characters, musical numbers, and generally a good time round. Oh, what an atmosphere. This is from 1984. I'll have a right. Listen, have your parents gone out for a meal yet, then? No, but they want to know if you want to go with them. Oh, leave it out. I thought we were going to have a nice, quiet night in, just you and me, you know, yeah. Well, it was just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Ah! Good afternoon, Pop Lord. Thank you, Pop. Lord, got some water, please. I'm married, you didn't I? I put a ring on your finger. Ah, oh, a pigeon ring. <laughs> Sent you, you pigeon chested. <laughs> Anyway, this is it, Annalie. This is it. Take it all in, lass. Take it all in. Oh, oh doesn't it make you feel... Knackered. <laughs> Morning, P. Morning, Bond. Come in. <laughs> Still having those dizzy spells, eh, sir? <laughs> So will you please welcome the Latin lover supreme, Julio Dabodlasius. Be it sister, wife or mother, lock them up for I'm a lover. Uh, well, Curl is a friend of Debbie and Kevin. Who the hell are Debbie and Kevin? Bill's kid. <laughs> Billy Walkers? No, Bill Webster. I told you about him earlier. Yeah, they're all friends of Turi. Turi? Turi Duckworth, Jack's lad. Oh, right, so uh, Jack's still around then. When he's not up a ladder. <laughs> Number six, Little and Large. Sid and Eddie might not have been everybody's cup of tea, but they were stalwarts of the comedy circuit nevertheless. So here's some Christmassy nostalgia from 1980. Super Sonic! As you know, Christmas is a time for rejoicing and singing. So I'd like to start by singing this lovely Christmas song. <laughs> Day and look at me, I'm falling apart. Yeah, kids don't deserve toys nowadays. Nah. We'd be better off left in the shops. Yeah. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? The little boy that owns me, <laughs> right little comic ears, pulls this off and then starts saying, Oh, what's this here? <laughs> He's heard me squeak. Listen. <laughs> oh, trained singers. Well, my voice is trained. Aye. So is my tomcat, but it still keeps forgetting itself. <laughs> Listen to me, you. You look at your long nose, skinny, for a satanac. Good get flash. That's because my mama always said, never touch anything that comes out of a tan. And so ends another episode of Dallas. Join us next week when among the questions we'll be asking are, what will Miss Ellie be trying to stuff next? Why? B A N N Y. B. I am Bammy. 
E, ever simple. N, never naughty. Holly and Christmas cheer. We wish you good luck and a happy new year. We wish you good luck and a happy new year. Number seven, the Crankies. Say what you will about the weirdness of this odd couple. And you can Google them for yourselves, I'm not telling you. But their Christmas shows were fan dabby dozy This is from 1983. But I've had to lock Jimmy in his dressing room because he started misbehaving early on. But, uh, <laughs> well, no, no problem, because the, the, actually the producers asked me if I'd open the show with a Christmas song. See, it's Christmas. <laughs> It could have been worse, it could have been raining. <laughs> I should have known, as soon as you got your school holidays, you'd be up to no good. Oh, no more school, fan dabby dozy, and what's more, no more school dinners. Oh, the magical television. <laughs> now listen, Jimmy, we've got a super show tonight. Have we? And you know we've got a pantomime sketch. Oh, I just love pantomime. Do you know how the Salvation Army saves souls? No, how do the Salvation Army save souls? They walk about in their heels like that. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> You must have seen one of these outside Buckingham Palace. Yeah? Yeah. Can you see his bare skin? No, he's got all his clothes on. <laughs> oh, look at this lovely little dolly. Oh, look at this lovely little dolly. Hey. Dollies are for sissies. <laughs> I wonder how you say that in French. Hey, are from France. They skated here all the way. I would like to know if you would teach me to do something. OK. What do you want to do? Um, I'm not sending any more Christmas cards out. I've wrote and told all my friends that. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Look. Oi. Hello, Jimmy. Hey! Hello, little Jimmy. Hey! Number eight, Dame Edna. All right, so she's not British, but she must have British ancestry somewhere, so I'm counting Dame Edna, possums, glitzy glamour, superb innuendo, and general daftness with the queen of the gladioli. And here's her take on Christmas. Lie there in the dark You'll soon feel Matthew, Mark and Luke <laughs> When you're up to your wrist in a turkey And those carol fingers come to call When God King wants a flat Look out and he said The heaven of all He knew that Christmas is Number nine, of course, our Scylla had to be on this list, didn't she, Chuck? Scylla was an absolute mainstay of TV cheese, and this special from 1983 is the cheesiest. You know what? You know, I'll have to sit down after all that. <laughs> well, here we are, and welcome to our house. This is our house. We have open house here, you know, we do. In fact, I never ever know who's gonna knock on my front door. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Step inside, love. <laughs> Frankie, you shouldn't. Well, I didn't, actually. The thing <laughs> was, no. You see, I picked up the wrong bag in the supermarket, and there's some poor old soul there sat there looking at a packet of dates, wondering what she's going to do with it. <laughs> Everybody. 
Number 10, Les Dawson had his fair share of Christmas specials looking at the funny side of Christmas. Here he is in a variety of 80s situations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is with the utmost pleasure that I introduce a truly great international singing star, Demis Roussos. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about this. Hello? Yes, we are expecting Demis Roussos. He's in the next studio. Well, what's he doing there? What do you mean he's stuck? <laughs> a charming Christmas scene, a snowy grotto with Santa Claus and his reindeer, and all the little elves and pixies all waving in the dole queue. <laughs> <laughs> now, this card is from my mother in law, and it's most original. It's one of those pop up Christmas cards. A greeting pops up when you open it like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the combination to the safe. Ebenezer Scrooge! What the? Who are you? It's me, Marley. Oh, good. I want to talk to you about those bathroom towels you said. <laughs> we had nothing, you know, in those days in the 30s. No food, no carpets, no furniture. And then came the Depression. <laughs> I mean, Bert was a... Bert was on the dole for years. Oh, I know all about that. Tell me, Ada Chuck, all those years he was on the Labour Exchange, <laughs> did they ever offer him a job? Only once. He said, apart from that, they showed him nothing but kindness. <laughs> the one, the very only one, Miss Barbara Streisand! <laughs> <laughs> You're not bad, Miss Streisand. Yes, I am. Since when? Since yesterday. And here's an extra one, number 11. Hinge and Bracket. This duo were at one time an ever-present fixture on your telly boxes, and they were always popping up on shows that were not their own. Here they are on Hearts of Gold, singing White Christmas. <laughs> And since it's Christmas, on here's another bonus one for you. Love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody, and I hope you're enjoying the videos, and there are plenty more to come. Bye for now.